what is up good people what is ig pawn we just hit level 45 day 11 and we unlocked wars and we're in the middle of a war and it's actually going to let me attack and i think i wonder if that isn't because i was already in the alliance when the war started i just wasn't high enough level so i'm assuming that's why it let me in most of the time when you join an alliance and they're not in a war or if they're in the middle of a raid or if they're in the middle of a war you can't participate you know what i mean so um marvel core united's at 55 cups just starting out it's very very interesting i want to go in and kind of show you what i'm going to do so after the war ends i'm going to claim a uh, defensive war room obviously it looks like we're facing a dead team they haven't done anything and the alliance is kicking butt so i'm just going to go in and find shield defaults that i can blow up ideally not flight decks because they don't do nothing um trying to finish off rooms and armory is one of the best rooms you can have um, right up there with security and engineering in my personal opinion because it gives this huge damage and armor to all defending war ready allies so i'm kind of just going to go through my attack process and kind of show off what i do as a new player um you will see i just used this uh, almost eleven thousand power here with two weak ones and i took out a shield room now the only thing to be concerned about is there's defense down on all these so i'm actually not going to go after armory since we're already winning so much i'm gonna go down here and try to find a room that doesn't have a big buff <laughs> So I can actually get an easier win because I don't have very many characters leveled up as you'll see here. I got four, five, six characters. I may be going to get four or five attacks in, but I'm going to just do all my attacks to kind of show you how I go about it. So I'm just throwing in the one 10,000 power character. Again, I'm going to throw in fodder just to have fodder here. Maybe absorb a few shots. I don't know that it's going to matter. But this is kind of what it'll be like for the first few wars. You just want to have 10 characters that are between 10 and 16,000 power. Um, the closer to 16,000, the better. There are characters that can lose at 15, 16,000 power against some of these shield defaults. But 9 times out of 10, you're going to win. 9.9 um, .9 times out of 10. Because these characters can't do any damage really to your one character. So we're at 10,000. If you watch here and see the damage that we're going to take... So he just took 7 damage. Um, whoa, there was some decent... I can't tell what that is. Is that 500 damage or what? I can't tell. But usually it's really, really low. Like between 1 and 40 damage. And let me put it on times 2. So we took 545 right there. But it ain't even a fraction of our overall health on Silver Surfer, so... It didn't even move our health bar. Nothing to worry about. We blew right through it, right? And that's how you want to go about wars. You don't even have to throw in those other characters. That's probably a complete waste. You're going to win it or you're going to lose it with the one character. I just like to do it. Something to do. Um, you don't have to, though. This next one, we'll try it with one character and see how we do. So he's only at 9,800, but he's... Uh, He's after the Marvel Strike Force 2.0. His stats are all boosted. And we'll just do it with one character. And that's what you want to build towards. Now, obviously, we don't have 10 characters between 10 and 16,000 power. I'm on day 11. So we are going to have to just throw a few attacks in there to get the World Warrior milestone points. But I'm actually going to play through the entirety of this, kind of showing off exactly what I'm doing and why. And how simple it is. You know what I mean? It's very, very easy to do. And it helps your alliance and the World Warrior milestone. Um, it helps your account. It makes you look active or it shows that you are active. It doesn't make you look like anything. It shows that you're actually going above and beyond to get those World Warrior milestone points. You know what I mean? You're trying to help the Alliance. Uh-oh, we're going down. See how sometimes we're getting 1 and 2 damage, 15 damage. Um, he's blocking or he's resisting a lot of stuff, so it's interesting there. Boom, we got it done. And you'll see how quick and easy this is to do. It's not a long process at all. Um, I'm actually going to throw Loki. I 
I just want to make sure I don't run out of characters. We'll be all right. So 9,000 overall. I don't know if they go win, bro. I just don't know, man. So we're going to throw this guy in as well. We're going to try to win with this team. Another thing I want to say is if we kill one or two of these, if we kill any of them, we need to continue to attack this room because you want to clean up your mess. Now, if we kill two of them and we leave three, somebody else has to waste an energy killing three enemies, right? And that's just not something you want to do. You don't want to kill two guys and then go after another room of five hoping to get five kills. Then you're essentially saying somebody else can clean up your mess, get less points. You only care about yourself. So make sure if you start a room and you kill at least one enemy, you finish the room. Or you keep attacking that one room. It's very, very important to uh, to show to your alliance members. You know what I'm saying? Because if I were to kill these two and get points for them, but instead of going back in here to clean up the three, I just went to another room and had five enemies so I could try to kill all five to get more points. Because you get points for each kill you get. Um, it looks bad, essentially. Clean up your mess, you know what I mean? If you start the room and you kill at least one, if you don't kill anybody, don't worry about it because there's still five characters to be killed. You can go to a different room, absolutely. But if you start it and you kill at least one enemy or multiples, make sure you clean it up with your next attack. Let's throw this on auto and see what happens. Yes, it sucks. You're getting less points because now we've killed one. So we're going to spend two energy to get the same amount of five kills. You get what I'm saying? So it's going to be less war credits for you, but it's the right thing to do as a human being, as a good alliance member, as a person that cares about it. It's the right thing to do. You wouldn't want somebody to leave this for you to attack, right? It would just feel bad. At the end of the day, just go ahead and clean up your mask, get it done. It'll be all right, you know? At least you're getting your 10 war attacks in. So I'm going to wait for this to cool down here. I will say if you see like a red bullseye, that means target this room. It doesn't mean target both of them. It just means target this side. Now if you see a yellow thing, it means do not attack this side um, or this room. And if you see it on both, you know what I mean? Now if you don't see anything, essentially look for red bullseyes. If there are none, go after any room that's not marked red or yellow. Or yellow, I mean. But if you see red, you definitely want to be focused on a red bullseye in wars. That's what your leaders are trying to tell you. At least that's what I'm trying to tell people when I do it. Let's battle, man. So, the members in this alliance, Marvel Corps United, actually leveled this up by themselves. I did not contribute any donations because I'm not level 50 yet. And that's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? They've went through all the work of the experience. I wouldn't say it's necessarily work or it's a bad thing. This is what it was like for everybody the first months of the game, right? The first year or two of the game. You wanted to build an alliance, you had to level it up, right? And then it got to the point where there was just so many alliances, you'd rather join one that's already leveled up so you could get straight into wars and start getting war credits and currency. But honestly, it didn't take very long. I think it takes right around a month, if that, give or take a week to level up your alliance to level 20 and people are donating so it went pretty quick and a lot of us were below level 50 that made this alliance it was for new players that's why I started it um, it's to give them a home essentially because we were full of Marvel Corps it's come a long ways I will say that so I want the win here I'm going to put three strong characters and then we'll just lose the rest I really like the entire experience. You're in your own multiverse, so even if it takes you a month to level up your alliance, or you're not getting the characters right when they drop, or you're not doing everything as fast and as efficient as possible, it don't matter. As long as you're having fun and you're experiencing the game in its entirety, who cares, man? Let other people do what they're doing. Do what you're doing. Um, we're still in wars. We're still getting the characters now. We're having tons of fun. Um, we got to experience everything that Marvel Strike Force has to offer, which is the grind of leveling your alliance. You know what I mean? So... It's very interesting. I think myself included, we get caught up in the, well, I got to have the newest thing out and I got to have this team to beat that team. 
And it's like, quite honestly, if you had a team that you love built up to like 1.8, 2 million, something like that, and you go after a team that has like uh, a million or something, your your gear is going to make you so and crazy, so crazy good. It's unreal. Um, you're all right, babe. Pack up a lump, sweetheart. Did the coffee go down the wrong hall? No, I have something stuck in my throat. You don't have to be able to beat every team. Um, you can find somebody to beat with your favorite teams that you've built. You know, and people lose sight of that. They got to have best in slot meta. So we have, oopsie, four attacks left. We're just going to go ahead and go boom, boom, boom. And something that I want to recommend here is when you're fighting an active alliance and you can't kill anybody, this will eventually happen. You'll see yellow boosts and their defensive boosts that they put on these rooms. And instead of being like this greenish yellow, it'll be a bright goldish yellow, right? But when you go into the room to actually fight, it'll be uh, it'll say at the bottom boosted or something like that. They'll have deflects. You want to look for those. If you're going to lose anyway, go in, go in and fight those because you're actually knocking down the boost. And then somebody with a big, uh, bigger team can actually go in there and kill it because those boosts can actually decide the fate of a, uh, a fight. When you have some of these meta war defense teams, it actually takes two tapping them to kill them. It's pretty insane. Um, but as a, a lobby, just going in there and losing, it gets rid of that boost. So, I mean, you're helping so, so much by doing that. And look at this. We put in a character. We're going to lose. Boom. We just got 85 World Warrior milestone points. Really easy to do. Quick, simple. I mean, it's you taking that extra minute of your time to do that. To show your alliance, you know, that has the bigger teams that are carrying you through raids. That are carrying you through uh, war. Actually killing opponents when you can't. That you have the initiative to keep playing. So I'm going to spend my next three attacks right here. I'm actually going to wrap the video up. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts. When you join an alliance, claim a slot in your defense team when you're not at war. So you just go in and find an empty room and claim it. I don't think it's going to show me right now. Huh. And then focus on getting 10 characters between 10,000 and 16,000. You might be safer having them between 12 and 16, you know, is when you can start actually doing solid war attacks. And make sure you get all 10 of your attacks in as soon as possible. Like, um, if you can't kill anything or you're waiting for more strike teams, save your attacks and let other people clear the way. But otherwise, try to be on when the war starts to give your best initiative, you know, and help your alliance push through rooms. Um, so that way you can kind of tear things apart and work together as a unit. All right, much love. Stay healthy. I'll catch you all in the next one.